Alex Thompson reporting. Now, Gribble News. I'm not making this up. I've already been accused of this on Twitter tonight, but a Gribble is a tiny crustacean, less than three millimetres in size, and it can destroy seaside piers. Gribbles are being hailed as the new key to a generation of liquid fuels. Researchers want to harness the power of the creature's enzymes to release the sugars found in wood. And this can then be fermented to make biofuels. Here's our science reporter, Asha Tanner. They've been the bane of sailors for centuries. Their staple diet of wood has destroyed the hulls of many ships, as well as seaside piers. But now the humble gribble could hold the answer to producing liquid biofuels. These are lumps of wood that we've got in this tank here. And if you look carefully at the surface of this one, you can see there's lots of burrows. And if you look a little bit more closely, you can probably see a few small animals wandering around on here. Scientists at the University of York and Portsmouth have identified a key enzyme found in the gut of these marine crustaceans that convert wood into sugar. Our aim is that the enzymes in this group are going to greatly cut the costs of producing sugars from scrap materials like scrap wood or, or, or straw from agriculture and that those sugars can then be used to produce biofuels by fermentation that will be both cheap and sustainable. Through DNA sequencing, they've isolated the gene responsible and copied it. The gene has then been added to a strain of fungi, so it can produce relatively large quantities of the enzyme. It's reactors like this, albeit on an industrial scale, that the Gribble enzyme will end up doing its work. Wood shavings are put into this high-pressure value reactor, and in a matter of days, a sugary syrup is drained off, which can then be turned into liquid biofuels. The resilient nature of this enzyme means it can be used with seawater rather than fresh water, which is scarce in some parts of the world, and this would make a cheaper alternative. It's the first time an animal enzyme has been used to generate sugar efficiently, which can be converted into burnable biofuels. What we can't do with other sorts of renewables is produce replacements for transportation fuels. These are energy-dense liquid fuels that you can carry around in your car, in a truck, in an aeroplane. And the only way that we can really produce those without using fossil fuels is to use biological materials. It's already happening with crops like sugarcane to produce ethanol, but plantations take up land for agriculture and threaten our rainforests. The Gribble enzyme could convert scrap wood, paper and straw into sugar, and although this research is only at laboratory stage, it could provide a cheaper alternative in years to come.